Welcome to Rio with Bunnick Tours. My name is Dennis Bunnick and that is Sugarloaf Mountain, just one of the sites in this incredible city. This is the city where the world comes to party and the reason being is that more than any other big city in the world, the people of Rio have got that balance right between work and living life, having fun and just kicking back. And there's a beautiful environment to do it in, some great beaches, fantastic cafes and bars. The best Rio experience is of course the Bunnick Tours Rio experience. We're doing it all in a small group. We're going to have lots of fun. We're going to see the sights. Join me. Let's go and have a look. We spend the day having a look at some of the, um, the sites here in Rio and oh, look at that, Christ the Redeemer. Awesome. <laughs> Exceeded everything I expected. Yeah? Yeah, just brilliant. Now architecturally, Rio is a really odd mix. In its early days, the city went through a phase of trying to look like Paris, and you'll see some really nice old grand buildings. Unfortunately, the most recent building boom was in the 60s and 70s, and that stuff, it just doesn't have the same beauty. It's not a flying saucer, it's actually a big cathedral here in the centre of Rio. Let's go have a look. This is the cable car where James Bond and Jaws fought their epic battle in the uh, closing scene of Moonraker. We're halfway up Sugarloaf Mountain and its uh, final resting place glory is uh, here having its photo taken for tourists. And for a great souvenir of Rio, you can't go past a pair of genuine Javianas. And you can get them by the bag for At Bunny Tours, we take our hotel selections very seriously. So in South America, you'll stay in everything from historic haciendas to eco lodges, all designed to really enhance your holiday experience. In the cities, our philosophy is simple. Clean, comfortable hotels in the right location. So Rio, there really is only one place to stay, Copacabana Beach. Now, we're not at the end of the beach, we're right in the heart of it. Right next to the night market, you can stroll down, you can join the locals in the evening or in the morning, promenading along the, uh, the foreshore here, doing some exercise, and just people watching and taking it all in. It's all part of the Bunnick Tours experience, and it's all part of the Rio experience. We can do Panema. Now here in Rio, in Brazil, the concept of the beach is different from Australia. You don't look for a deserted beach with nobody on it. The beach, you visit it to see and be seen. So uh, you walk along the promenade, sit on the beach, suntan, or best of all, grab yourself a coconut, at one of the little kiosks, and just watch the world go by. Having said that, 
I probably prefer a beer than a coconut. Cheers, Mr. Rio. To start your own Rio experience, check out the full range of Bunnick's small group tours to South America by seeing your local travel agent or visiting bunnicktours.com.au.